Hey, what is up, everybody? This is your boy, AJ Tripp, and welcome to the world according to me. Talking about NBA GOATs. I saw a, a um, graphic on Facebook talking about the NBA GOATs. And since today is, um, this is, a, this is um, the second day of the opening week of in the NBA, I've just put out a podcast where I give a little talk to my predictions, so you can go and check that out. It should be right here on YouTube as well. Um, but I, I, uh, I, I look at this and see, do I agree with who this this graphic has stated? I don't know where the graphic is from. I just found it on Facebook. Who is, who are the NBA goats of each team? So um, let's go ahead. Let's put it up here. Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so, every team's NBA GOAT. Let's start from the top on, all the way down. Uh, for the Atlanta Hawks, they have Dominique Wilkins, who was the best player in the 80s and into the 90s. Um, Dominique was a tremendous player. And I think I would agree with that. I think there are probably some people who might... Say, well, was Bob Pettit the thing that he played for the Hawks? Was he better or, or anything like that? But I think Tony Wiggins is a good choice. Um, I think Bill Russell is the obvious choice for the Celtics. Um, for as good as Bird. Well, actually, I have to take that back now because I have Bird ahead of Bill Russell. And Bill Russell has won all the championships, yada, yada, yada. But I think Larry Bird would be the, 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 the GOAT for the both the Celtics, according to my own thing, because I have, like, Bird, like, seven, eighth on the list of, of, uh, of the top ten players of all time, so I think Larry Bird would be the GOAT for the Celtics. The Brooklyn, New Jersey Nets, they have Jason Kidd. Um, this, this is NBA, this is not talking about the ABA, where the Nets were in the ABA at one point, um, before the merger, so I, 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 that's, that's probably a good one. I think. I think that's a good one to say. Um, for the Charlotte Hornets, they have Kemba Walker. Now, see, and, and, and here's where we get, like, all, you know, crazy and everything like that. So, are we, are we talking about, um, so, 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 are we talking about the Hornets in general? Because you can also say that, you know, the Hornets... Moved from Charlotte to New Orleans, we're not a Pelican, so they have his Chris Paul, and we'll get to them in a second. So, and then the, there were the Bobcats, there were the Bobcats, and then we went to the, and then, and then when Jordan got it, he got it and brought back the Hornets name to, so uh, so, what legacy does the Hornets have? If, if, if it's like the Bobcats, you know, that legacy, then yeah, of course it would be. Uh, I think it would be Kimber Walker, but if, if 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 we're saying that the Hornets have the legacy of like the old Hornets who are now the Pelicans, as good as they moved, then I think we we gotta talk about you know Alonzo Mourning. We gotta talk about Larry Johnson. You know, we gotta talk about those guys as being you know in that as well. So. And that's, that's a really interesting one to think of. The Bulls, Michael Jordan, of course. He's the greatest of all time. LeBron James, greatest cab of all time? Yes, he's the greatest second greatest of all time. The Mavericks, Dirk Nowitzki, have no problem with that. The Denver Nuggets, now let's take a look. Nicole Jokic is he's a three-time M- M- MVP, right? So, he's there. There were, some, there, there were some good players there. Alex English, among many others. Chris... Jackson, the former Michael Bear Roof, the late Dickie Matumbo, Matumbo was there as well. So, um, yeah, there's a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of things you can do. A lot of names that you can go there. But I would say that Nicole Jokic was the best player, uh, uh, was the greatest nugget of all time. I think he has proven that to, to be that. The Pistons, Isaiah Thomas. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, I think I, I think that's a good one to think of Isaiah Thomas. Uh, we, you know, we got Joe Dumas who's right up there with the backcourt with him. Grant Hill, who came after Isaiah Thomas, he played for several years. He was good there as well. Um, 
Um, there's, there's some guys from that that, that mid 2000s teams like um, Billups and Ben Wallace and uh, Richard Hamilton and and those folks who are uh, who you, you know who probably up there. Well, but I think Isaiah Thomas is probably the right choice for the Pistons. For the Warriors, Stephen Curry. Yeah, I don't think there's no doubt that we're talking about a guy who is the second greatest. He is, he is the second greatest point guard of all time. Probably on his way to being the greatest point guard of all time. So, um, you have that. The Rockets, Hakeem Olajuwon. I think that's that's an easy one. The Pacers, Reggie Miller. I think that's a good one as well. So we have the Los Angeles Clippers. And Chris Paul. Uh, Chris Paul, he would be the would he be the only person on this list? He would be the only person on this list that would be the greatest player in the franchise's history for two teams. So let me quickly do some stuff on. Um, I have no idea why that's. I don't know. I, I, I hate that. That's not. I don't want that setting. I don't know why they. I don't know why they do this. So I think uh, for Chris Paul, being the greatest clip of all time, um, it is between him and Bob McAdoo. It's going to be either one or the other, and I, I, I would be willing to go with Chris Paul. I think, I think when we're talking about the all-time list, I think Chris Paul is probably a better player than Bob McAdoo. And so I would I would say Chris Paul is, 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 is the greatest clipper of all time. The greatest Laker of all time is Kobe Bryant, apparently, according to this graphic. Now, in in, in my in, 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 in my list, um, that would be Shaquille O'Neal. I'm not going to argue about Kobe Bryant. You know, it, it's probably a toss-up. But I think Chuck Hill O'Neal is the greatest, uh, is the most dominant player in NBA history. And on my list, he is number three all-time. Mike Mike's one, Bronze two, Shaq is three. So, Kobe would be four. He's four or four or five. I don't, I don't, I don't remember if I have Magic at four and Kobe at five, or if I have Kobe at four and Magic at five. But I'm not gonna argue with that. They won't piece of Kobe Bryant. That's okay. But I think Shaq's they, for me it would be Shaq, the greatest Laker of all time. Memphis Grizzlies, Zach Randolph. You know, I don't really have a issue with that right as of right now. I think we get into a couple more years. That has to be John ja- 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 Morant if he can stay on the court, stay out of trouble, and stay healthy. I would say John ja- Morant may be passing up as the greatest uh, Grizzly of all time. The Heat, uh, Miami Heat is Dwayne Wade. Yes, we're talking about the second. Uh, we're talking about the third greatest uh, shooting guard of all time, Dwayne Wade. So yeah, it, it's Dwayne Wade. For the Ma- Ma- Milwaukee Bucks, it's Giannis Antetokounmpo, which I think is, is is a right choice. I don't think I think Lou Alcindor, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, did not play long enough in Milwaukee to to garner that. He did all of his work in Los Angeles, so I think Antetokounmpo is the greatest buck of all time. Timberwolf, you have Kevin Garnett, no disagreement there. Um, Chris Paul for the Pelicans is is, is their their greatest player, and again. This is one of those things where are we are we taking into account, you know, ju- just Pelicans when they became the New Orleans Pelicans? Because he because he wasn't on the team when they became the Pelicans. Are we are, are we talking about, you know, the are we talking about like when when the, going back to the old Hornets franchise? Because again, you're talking about Johnson and 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 Morning, so. One. I guess I agree with it. Again, Chris Paul would be the only, uh, be the only player that there is. So I think that is interesting. New York Knicks, Patrick Ewing. I would agree with that. I think Patrick Ewing is up there. For the Oklahoma City Thunder, I think Kevin Durant. Yes, I would agree with that as well. I think Kevin Durant is, is he's a top ten player of all time, and he did most of his work in 
Um, Thunder, you know, he has some, he, oh, he has had stops many places, you know, Brooklyn and, and Golden State and now in Phoenix, but I think he did the majority of the work in MVPs in, in Thunder. So, and, and, and it, we're, we're taking into account the Seattle Supersonics as well. So you would have to say, like, Kemp and Payton, they were there. Both, the, the, you know, they have, they have claims to that, but I think Kevin Durant without question is it. The Orlando Magic has Dwight Howard. Penny was good, didn't do it too long. He played his first contract, then went to the New York Knicks. Shaq, obviously, he, you know, he left to L.A. He did most of them in L.A. Um, Nick Anderson was a tremendous player down there for them. Um, but yeah, I think Dwight Howard is the greatest Orlando Magic player of all time. For the 76ers, they have Julius Irving. Now, you have so many players here. You have, you've had Barkley. You've got Moses Malone. You've got Irving. You've got Embiid right now. Um, there's so many people who are more than deserving of that greatest sixer of all time. You know, um, something like that. So, that, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I, I, I'm not going to argue with anyone. I would stick with Julius Irving. I'm not going to argue with anyone there. Uh, for the Phoenix Suns, they have Steve Nash. Now, again, we're talking about Barkley was there. Um, different Booker has now come up. Um, Steve, Young, Steve Nash was a two-time league MVP there in, uh, for the Phoenix Suns. Took them to uh, championship series uh, West, in the Western Conference. So I think that could be, yeah. I think I, I think that's an interesting one as well. So I, 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 I would think Nash is a good one as well. Um, Damian Lillard for the Portland Trail Blazers. We got Clyde Drexler, obviously in the '80s and mid '90s. He was a he was a star there. Um, Marcus Aldridge was a very good player for the Portland Trail Blazers. Um, so yeah, I I think. Uh, Damian Lillard was uh, truly a uh, the best for the trail blazer there could be. Now for the Sacramento Kings, they have Oscar Robinson. And at first you may think, really? The Oscar Robinson? Wasn't Chris Webber there? Wasn't Mitch Frischman there? But again, you're looking back at their history. They were originally the Cincinnati Royals which had Oscar Robinson there for many years. He, he was great as a, he was great there before Russell Westbrook started doing his thing of triple doubles. He was the first person to to lead the you know to, to average a triple double in a season. So I, I think Oscar Robinson is the right choice for Sacramento Kings. But San Antonio Spurs, Tim Duncan, I don't think that's an issue. Uh, Kyle Lowry for the Raptors. See, I boy, I I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I know he played there a good chunk of his career, but I still, I still, I still would think that Vince Carter would be a, would, even though he played a shorter time with the Raptors, would probably be a better player there than Kyle Lowry. I think you know because that's if you, if you think about like players, players who have you know where they would be, where they would rank. Vince Carter would be ranked would rank higher than Kyle Lowry. I guess the question you have to ask yourself is, did Vince Lauder do most of the stuff he did in Toronto, or did he do it in New Jersey and all of the other places that Vince Carter played throughout his career? So, um, you know, I, I, I'm going to say Vince Carter. I don't think it's Kyle Lowry. I don't think it's Vince Carter uh, was, was the greatest Raptor of all time. The Utah Jazz, they have John Stockton. Yes, he played his entire career there, but it, it, it's Carmelo. Now, I understand that Carmelo has horrific um, things in his past, allegations, you know, accusations, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if any of them are really true or not. They, you know, they, you know, you read when you read it, read about them, they read as true, but I don't know if they are. So I'm going to say that the stuff that he has allegedly been accused of are horrific and just, you know, sickening. But he's the greatest player in, in, in jazz history, without question. 
I think that, I think there's there's no doubt about that. I don't think you can put John Stack. The John Stack is obviously number two, I think, but it's Karl Malone. He's the greatest jazz player of all time, despite whatever off the court things have been discussed about him. And the last one here is a total to uh, toss up um, because they they this graphic has put West on sale, but. They've had some other good players. Chris Webber was there for even the short time he was. Gilbert Arenas for a short time he was there. He was great. Elvin Hayes, Walt Bellamy, they were also there back in the day with Wes Unsell. So, you know, it, 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 is, it is kind of really hard to choose who's the greatest wizard slash bullet. You know, there is, but boy. You know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with this graphic and say that West Unsell was was the Wizards goat. But they they I don't think you can. It, this is one of those things where if you if they, they put down anybody else, it wouldn't be an argument if it was Elvin Hayes or or you no know, Weber or or um, Arenas or even John Wall or Bradley Beal, any of those guys. I, it, it wouldn't be a a shock to me. If, if it, whoever it would be, well, uh, Walt Bellamy I mentioned, but they chose it was unsettled, and I'll, 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 I'll go with it, I'll stay with that. All right, guys, there you have it. What I would choose as NBA teams, uh, each NBA team's go. Uh, I agree with most of this list. There were some things that I, 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 I said I would change. I, Bill Russell would, I would change Larry Bird. Um... Uh, Kobe Bryant. Sorry about that. Like I was saying, uh, I I put Larry Bird over Bill Russell uh, for the Celtics. Uh, I said I had Shaq over Kobe, but I'm not going to argue with that. Um, I agree with pretty much everything we talked about. Uh, the Sixers, Julius Irvin, Barkley, many others, Moses Malone, many others there, Joel Embiid now. Cal Lowry, Cal Lowry, I chose Vince Carter. I just think he's a better overall player. Even though the the, the time difference in which they played, they play was totally different. Obviously, comp, this is the most obvious one. John Stockton is, is second greatest of all time. Karl Malone, despite his off the field antics and off the court antics and before the court antics, whatever you want to say, it's Karl Malone. And then there's Wes Unseld as the Washington Wizards representative. So, post your comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know who you guys think about this list. Uh, did, did you agree with my changes? Did, would you have any other thoughts about who this thing is? Let me know down in the comment section. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy, AJ Tripp, signing off. As always, be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. And I am out.